What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanted to talk to you about my five favorite guitarists ever. Well, not ever because it's changed by the time, but my current five guitarists, favorite guitarists. So um, before we start this video, I wanted to say thank you guys for all your supports. I really appreciate all your message, your comments and everything. So I hope you enjoy the new content. I'm gonna release some new video very soon about some new stuff, more about music. Well, more musically what I'm gonna play. And uh, now we can move on to the video. So the fifth, if I have to do an order, like my fifth favorite guitarist would be, I think, Van Halen. So I'm not gonna put him number one because that was not my main influence when I started to play the guitar, but that's, yeah, my number five, because I, I used to play a lot of, well, not a lot, but I used to play some Van Halen in the past. And uh, I really learned a lot and I really love how he's getting into, well, how to play their his songs and everything. That was a really nice, let's say, teacher for me when, uh, when I discovered Van Halen. And um, yeah, I used to to play and talking about love for for so many so many gigs or something I, I, I love love this song the, the guitar part and stuff and uh, about Van Halen himself what I do appreciate is it's his energy he's got on stage well he used to get in the past because now they're not doing anything but I really love how he's playing the the techniques he's using and the sounds but the sounds come from his fingers you know so can't really say something about that and yeah, that's pretty much it. This is why my number five would be, well, Van Halen, Van Halen. Oh my God, I'm fucking French. <laughs> okay, so now the number four. Uh, number four, I might say Steve Vai. Yeah, I think, yeah, Steve Vai would be my number number four. Because I think as a guitarist, I'm, I saw him twice, two or three times, don't really remember. And uh, I really love on the studio, well, live or studio, doesn't matter, but uh, he's a, well, Steve Vai is, is a fucking sick guy, you know, he's a, he's a really, really f legend on the guitar, you know, can't, can't tell me wrong, but yeah, I, I do really love how he's composing, especially how he's composing about all the instruments, it reminds me a little bit, but more guitaristically, Hans Zimmer, because it's not about movies or something, but it's just the way he wants to do to deal with music in general and uh, this is why I must say Steve Vai for me my number four about the composition he's playing because the guy is just a fucking god <laughs> so don't, let, don't, don't tell me wrong but yeah I think this guy yeah is my number four because I used to play a lot but not as much as I uh, as I can think to be honest so that's my number four all right my number three will be Nah, maybe some people will kill me, but I don't care. Will be Nita Strobes. <laughs> so that's the guitarist of Alice Cooper right now. And uh, for me, for I had to put a female guitarist in my uh, in my list because you know a lot of pe a lot of female play some playing some guitars. So yeah, I had to put one. And for me, it's Nita Strauss about as a person, as a guitarist, and. Uh, on her like focusing on life I don't know how on her go about life and stuff and for me that's a really fucking influence to me because I had the chance to meet her as well and uh, all the time when I had some discussions or some meeting not meeting read but some master class or stuff like that she was well all the time you have your eyes just you can see all the stars you know because she's a person who's giving a lot of motivations because she's a hard worker as you might see on the on her social media and stuff because I, I like following the this kind of people because it gave me it's giving me a lot of energy and uh, yes she's absolutely sick even as a guitar player I must say just uh, the negative points about her might be I don't really like her sound sometimes just sometimes it depends where but I don't really like sometimes when she's playing some solos. Sometimes it's too much, you know. But it's just my taste, and it's not all the time. So, so there you go. And then my number two will be John Five. Yes, will be John Five. Now we start talking seriously, because John Five for me is 
I think it was after the number one, which you're gonna know a little bit later. I think it was my second most influence as a guitarist because about how he's mixing all the genre in a, in one song, for example, uh, I think for me it's absolutely remarkable because uh, he can play absolutely everything but everything. And this is why I love music and this kind of people because they're not only limiting by one genre. They can do whatever, well, they can play whatever they want and what doesn't matter about the genre, you know. And uh, when it's mixing country music with metal and or doing like some horror stuff and everything, for me, I'm a huge fan of John Five, I must say. And uh, as a guitar player, is absolute. Well, just mentioned he was a guitar player, but as a person as well, he's a really nice guy and um, yeah, really humble guy. The music is sick, so I don't have anything else to say except. If you still doesn't know John Five, if you still don't know John Five, go and check him out. You will, you will be shocked. He's playing for Rob Zombie right now, and his own solo project, John Five and the Creatures. And uh, yeah, so definitely check him out. All right, so now before going to the the number one of my list, I just wanted to give some special mentions about my other influences. So the first one, I would say straight like this will be Paul Gilbert, so he's an alien <laughs> on the guitar, don't, uh, don't get me wrong, but he's an alien on the guitar. And uh, the another one I would say would be Andy James, yeah, Andy James is absolutely mental, he's a, nail he's a monster as well, uh, really cool guy, and uh, maybe another one I can give like this, but, uh, Jason Richardson, there you go. Nothing to say. The guy, um, the guy is just an alien as well. With, with all that remains now, I'm really happy he joined all that remains now because I think. Sorry for this, but when Oli passed away, I think he's one, almost the only one who can replace properly Oli. And I'm really glad he he joined all that remains. So yeah, Jason Richardson. And then now, my number one. You might be surprised, but not really, because it's in my name, Monkey from Corn. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, and on the special mention, I should say, I should say, yeah, uh, Head from Corn as well, because you know Corn. That's it. And uh, yeah, so on the the first one will be Monkey. Why? So for me, it's really, really personal, because when I discovered metal, I was not into metal music before. I was listening a lot of hip hop when I was, I don't know, nine years old. And uh, I turned into metal when I was 12, around 11 or 12 years old or something. And uh, uh, since that, when I discovered Korn for the first time, YouTube was getting bigger, you know, by the time, but was not popular. And uh, I checked a video in two, I think it was two, 2004. I can't really remember. But uh, they were playing in uh, Rock and Ring, and uh, I was literally blown away. By, uh, by Monkey, he's such an amazing guitarist. Not technically, he's not playing a lot of shred or something, but on the, st on the stage, the guy is here. You can't miss him. And I had the chance to see Korn twice already. And uh, yeah, this is all I was waiting for him in front of me when he was playing. I was like, yeah, this is why he's my favorite guitarist. Not about technique, not about his personality. I don't know him, so I don't really know. But uh, yeah, about that, this guy is absolutely insane for me. A lot of energy, He's, he looks really chill on stage, so I hope one day I will have the chance to, to, to meet him properly, like to get like a proper chat and stuff. That would be, that would be a fucking dream, man. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for my, for my list. Let me know in the comment section what, who's your favorite guitar player. That would be cool to know. Maybe, well, I forgot a lot of names, I'm sorry, but I can't list everyone. But let me know what you, who's your favorite ones. And uh, don't forget to subscribe on the channel. Don't forget to like the video as usual. And I'll see you for our next one. Bye-bye.